Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? So I've literally just got in from work, hence why I have still got my damn coat on. I haven't even taken it off. Although now I'm thinking, should I just keep it on? Because I kind of blend in with background. It kind of sticks within the guidelines of my theme, you know what I mean? The whole grey vibes. So today's video is going to be a haul. Now the reason why I'm rushing to get this haul done tonight is because I want to use all the things. I'm so excited to put them out because I am obsessed with what I bought in Dunelm the other day. Now Dunelm isn't a shop I go in as much because although it's relatively affordable I still find the prices quite high in comparison to the likes of B&M and The Range and even Matalan. I feel like they're kind of a little bit above. They're in between them shops and your next home kind of place. So I do only go in there for a real treat. Now the other day I was looking for bedding online and I found a beautiful blush pink bedding set. So I thought you know what I'm just going to go down to Dunelm on my lunch break and have a little feel and see how it feels because it has to be nice and soft you know. Who wants disgusting scratchy hard bedding? I don't. So I went down there not expecting much and was actually blown away and then I found some other bits and pieces and accidentally spent £160. So um, yeah I don't know how that happened. It wasn't me. Sorry sir it wasn't me okay. But I had to share it with you lot because you're going to be obsessed and I'm really sorry if I make you spend all your pocket money, you know. <laughs> so, I've got two massive bags and by the way, yes, hair scraped up, no eye makeup on. This is how I rock about at work. <laughs> so, I've got two massive bags full of Dunelm stuff and I think I'm going to have to start with the really, really glam stuff which... Even at this stage, I'm thinking, Hazel, how can you justify spending so much when you have already got bathroom accessories? Now, a little disclaimer, before I pick this stuff up, I have been eyeing it up for like six months, and you've got to treat yourself at times, you know? So, don't judge the fact that I spent £20 on a toilet roll holder, and £18 on a bog brush. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> So you may or have may not seen it, but they have a range in there called, I think it's called 5A Fifth Avenue or something like that. <laughs> I thought I felt something tickling my neck there. God. So the first thing that I picked up was £15 and it's absolutely beautiful glass marble effect tumbler. And look at this. I absolutely love it. So it's a really pale blushy pink colour and it's marble and it's glass and the base is kind of rose gold but it's a really really pale rose gold if you can see and i love this now i know it's expensive i know i can't justify 15 pounds on this but it is a really chunky glass and it's really well made and i really like it so you know you have to treat yourself sometimes and i thought that it was appropriate to treat myself so <laughs> i got that and then you know what it's like when you see the whole collection you need to get it all so then Sorry, I got the prices mixed up. This was £10. The next item was £15. So this is called the Glass Marble Effect Lotion Dispenser. And oh my god, look at this. This reminds me of something that I would have had in like the olden days, you know. <laughs> it just looks so classy, so elegant. Look at this. So you push it down like that. And yeah, it's exactly the same as this, but obviously a lotion one. And this is just stunning. I literally don't think I could love bathroom accessories any more than I love these because they are 100% my style and what I love and what I go for so that is what I picked up and again it's really really heavy duty so I know it's expensive but it does feel amazing quality which it should do for that sort of price don't get me wrong now the next item I don't even know why I got it because I don't use soap so I don't have a clue okay but again, I wanted to get the whole set and I thought this was so nice. So this was £8 for the cheapest of the set. And this is a little soap dish. And look at the base. Look how beautiful it is. I feel like my bathroom is going to look amazing. If I put these out and they don't look amazing, I will be returning them. Because they're too expensive to not. But I'm really hoping that they're going to look good. And I feel like they will. But yeah, I love it so much. So I picked them three up. And then the last two items from... No, Hazel, you didn't. No, I didn't get another item in the set. I thought I had another wrapped up thing from that set. <laughs> so this was the £20 item. Oh my God, everyone. I know, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> anyway, so here it is. It's another kind of like, it's in between rose gold and blush pink. What is that colour called? But it's not rose gold because it's so light. But it's a really nice toilet roll holder for what it's worth. And it does feel like good quality. But it bloody well should do for £20. 
And then the last thing in that collection was the bog brush, which is £18. So, whoops. What do they actually call it? They call it a toilet brush rose gold. No one call it a bog brush. What a horrible way to say it. So, here it is, £18. And I do really like it. But again, if this doesn't look amazing, then it's going to be returned because that's. I feel like these two are the ones that I'm a bit like, mm, really, like £38 on these two items, whereas all the other glass bits, I'm happy I got them and I can't see myself returning them. But yeah, these, I'm a bit like, mm, they better look amazing, otherwise they're going in the bag, back in my car and back to Dunelm. <laughs> so I'll let you know how I get on with those when I put them out in my bathroom. So now let's move on to the kind of more normal-ish price range. So this was £1.99 and it's a little heart tea caddy, not caddy a tea bag holder because I dropped the last one I had. So I picked this one up because it's really lovely and sweet and cute. They have so many things in this range. I've got quite a few bits and pieces in this range. It's called the Country Heart Tea Bag Tidy. So I love that so much. And then we're gonna move on to my amazing bedding that I picked up. So I'm really, really happy with all of this actually. Really, really pleased. Honestly, it feels amazing. So you can't really see much of it when it's obviously in here, but you can see the color. So this is the Soft Touch Duvet Set in um not in king sorry it's a king size and this is in the color does it say it doesn't say but don't worry i'll link everything below anyway so as you see it's a really nice blush pink duvet set and my skin is really really irritated most of the time and even certain materials can make me itchy but this felt so soft and lovely so it says feels wonderfully soft to touch the microfiber fabric has a satin like quality so here this is and this was 26.99 so i'm really happy about this love it so much and then obviously i had to get the matching set so just a bit boring fitted sheet for 15 pounds because you know we all need a fitted sheet and i actually have a double bed so don't know if you lot know but if you have a double bed get yourself a king size bed sheet because or bed spread i mean because it hangs over the edges and looks really really nice so that's what i do i always go up a size on the duvet and the duvet set so yeah double beds 15 pounds for that which is kind of expensive but i wanted it to match and it's going to last me a long time so I can kind of justify bedding a bit more because think how much time you spend in your bed. It's worth it really, isn't it? In my opinion. And then I picked up these two housewife pillowcases. I had to actually Google in there what housewife pillowcases were because I didn't know. And these are definitely the shape that I did want and envisioned in my head. So I'm really happy with these. These are £5 each. So again, not the cheapest, but all right i'd say considering it's bed set i'll probably have for quite a few years and then the last thing i picked up so it's quite a small haul everyone is the velour rich and sumptuous runner in pinsonic this was 35 pounds and it's 60 by 240 centimeters so this is what it looks like as you can see it's like kind of not quilted but whatever that pattern is can you see it looks amazing i haven't actually felt this yet although it does kind of look velvety so i'm very excited to put that on my bed and see what it's like and this is what it looks like on the back of the packet so yeah i'm really really pleased with everything i've got i really have high hopes for everything so i'm really hoping that it looks as good as i think it's going to look when it's out and about in my house so i really hope you enjoyed the video i really hope that you didn't mind my had a crappy appearance too much but you know this is what it looks like when you've been at work for eight hours i mean it's about half five now and i got up at seven so you know this is a long old bit of makeup that's nearly gone <laughs> so anyway i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you on my next video bye everyone so i've just put the accessories out obviously my bathroom now needs a rejig around and tidy but here are these two. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't feel like they're worth £38, as expected. They just, they don't do it for me. They're not a wow factor. So I think they're going to be returned, to be honest. However, here are the beauties, and I love these three. I think these look gorgeous. This stuff doesn't really go anymore, so I'm going to have to kind of like maybe move that, maybe get some more rosy gold accessory stuff here instead. So, yeah, I love these. Lovely. So I just quickly made the bed so I could share with you what it looks like. So I'll show you now and um, the housewife pillowcases aren't what I thought they were. So when I googled it clearly the wrong images came up because I wanted the pillowcases where they have like a border around the edge but they're just plain pillowcases. But never mind. <laughs> so here it is. I have literally just chucked it on. I haven't ironed it or anything like that. To be honest with you I'm too lazy and can't be asked. So I'm hoping the creases will just uncrease themselves. But this is what it looks like on. I love the runner so much. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Look at it. 
My horrible hand has eczema on it. So these are the normal cushions that I have on my bed. What side do we prefer? Do we prefer this silver side or do we prefer this more satiny side? I'm not too sure. Hmm. I feel like they both go. Maybe the silver still because it's a bit... I don't know actually. The pink side is quite nice. But I don't feel like I can use my white cushions anymore with it. I just feel like that will look a little bit odd. But yes, very pleased with this. Love the runner. I think I'm going to leave it with just these three cushions for now. But yeah, I may need to get some blush pink colour cushions to kind of blend it all nicely. But So I just moved the pink cushions in from my living room. I'm feeling like perhaps this is the better look. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to have to keep playing around with it until I find a combination that works. Because I'm aware this is very, very pink in comparison to the headboard. So it kind of does look a bit wow when you first walk in the room. So I'm thinking if I add some more paler tones up here, it kind of brings it together. I don't know. What do we think? Defo needs an iron though, doesn't it? I just realised it does look crap without an iron. 